To the other breaking news, President Biden announcing he is sending additional troops into Afghanistan to help evacuate U.S. embassy personnel and Afghan visa applicants. And moments ago, the president doubling down on his commitment to withdraw U.S. forces. Despite the Taliban's rapid advance, the militants are now closing in on Kabul, the capital. The Afghan security forces on the streets with a strong presence, but so far, elsewhere across the country, they have not managed to stop the Taliban's advance. Afghan and civilians desperately fleeing the airport, packed commercial flights fully booked. Many who work for the U.S. forces searching for visas to get out. One former translator pleading for Americans to help. ABC's Julia McFarlane is in London tonight. Tonight, with the Taliban on Kabul's doorstep, President Biden announcing he is increasing the number of troops going to Afghanistan. The president saying there will now be 5,000 troops in Kabul. That's an additional 1,000 troops being rushed there to assist with the evacuation of Americans and Afghan visa applicants. A heavy military presence patrolling the streets in Kabul. The State Department starting to move personnel to the airport for evacuations, leaving a small core group behind. We're obviously watching this just like you're watching this and seeing it happen in real time, uh, and it's deeply concerning. Clearly, from their actions, it appears as if they are trying to get Kabul isolated. The Taliban now controlling more than half of the country's provinces. One of the latest to fall, Mazar Sharif in Balkh province, Afghanistan's fourth largest city. The Afghan government overnight releasing this video claiming to show airstrikes on militants in that province before it fell to the Taliban today. The Taliban boasting about the spoils of war, posting this footage appearing to show Afghan military aircraft now in their hands. Afghan President Ashraf Ghani speaking today, defiant, refusing to cede official control to the Taliban even as the country crumbles. Visa applicants crowding this airport processing center, desperate for a way out. Thousands of these Afghans risked their lives and their families to help the West. Now they live in fear. We serve for the American forces, we serve for the U.S. and ISA forces, for the coalition forces. They have to take care about us. It is our turn to be helped. So many in desperate need of help. Julia McFarland joins us now live from London. Julia, with the Taliban closing in on Kabul, what's the latest on the evacuation? Uh, Lindsay, with borders to Afghanistan closing in on all sides, the options for escape are running out. Most commercial Afghan airlines have every seat booked leaving the country for the next week at least. Tonight, the State Department announcing it is considering charter flights to ensure that every U.S. citizen can leave safely. Lindsay? Julia, thank you. And let's get right to Alex Perche at the White House tonight. Alex, President Biden is at Camp David as these two developing international crises are unfolding, but he's being briefed on both Afghanistan as well as Haiti. That's right, Lindsay. Biden hearing from his national security team. And on Afghanistan, Biden defending the drawdown in a statement writing, one year, one more year, or five more years of U.S. military presence would not have made a difference if the Afghan military cannot or will not hold its own country. Secretary of State Antony Blinken spoke with Afghan President Ghani today, offering support. And Biden's also warning the Taliban that any action taken against U.S. personnel during this mission will be met with a swift and strong response. And then on Haiti, Biden saying that he's saddened by the situation there and he's authorized an immediate U.S. response. Lindsay. Alex, thank you. Be sure to watch this week. Tomorrow morning, Jonathan Carl goes one-on-one -on -one with Secretary of State Antony Blinken about the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan as the Taliban rapidly gains control. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.